today we're going to be working on kinds of sentences and irregular verbs. And when we look at our kinds of sentences, it's a review from our lesson from yesterday. But in this one, we have all four different types of sentences. We have declarative sentences, and those are just telling us something, giving us information. We have imperative sentences, and remember, imperative sentences, they give us an order. They tell you to do something. And those both end with a period. We have interrogative sentences. And remember, interrogative asks a question. Um, my daughter told me a good one yesterday, and she said interrogative, like interrogate. And so it reminded me of that. When you interrogate somebody, you're questioning them. So interrogative sentences are asking a question, and they end with a question mark. And then we have exclamatory sentences, and exclamatory sentences show strong feeling or emotion and those end with an exclamation point and we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and actually let you do these on your own and you only have four of them and that indication tells you that there's probably one for each type of sentence so make sure you're paying attention and adding in the ending mark to each sentence and then make sure you're looking for any other kind of punctuation mistakes that might be in the sentence just like we did yesterday. Um, irregular verbs. I don't think that this is going to be too tricky for you. This is refresher from last year. You started working on irregular verbs the end of third grade but you hit irregular verbs in four different sections last year. And an irregular verb is when we don't add ed to the end of a word to make it past tense. So, for example, they have bring as a present tense and brought as the past tense because we don't say we bring it something to the game or sing. It's not that we, it, we didn't sing at the school play, we sang at the school play. And so when we think of irregular verbs, all we're doing is, is that we do not add ed at the end. Okay, so it changes the word for us as opposed to just adding ed. So it says write the correct form of the verb in parentheses to complete each sentence. Okay, it, the verb in number one is the word say. It says whoever, and then we have to figure out what the verb is going to be. Acting was easy, was joking. And we know that say we, we, is an irregular verb because it's not said. We don't say whoever said acting was easy was joking. It's whoever said. And so you're going to write the word said, S-A-I-D, on the line. And I think two, three, and four will be pretty easy for you to pick out there. We have tell, come, and begin. Numbers five through eight, it says circle the four incorrect verbs. And remember, there's four of them in here. And then write the correct past tense form of each verb on the line. So it says, I'm going to read the whole thing to you so you can kind of listen for them. Because one of the ways, or one of the easiest ways, I think, to identify irregular verbs, even easier than reading them, is to hear them. We practiced for the school play every night. What did we do? First, the director chose people for certain parts. Then, we had to learn our lines. At first, I thinked... I would never learn them. After we knowed our lines, we practiced how to move around on stage. Later, we maked our costumes and tried them on. Finally, we were ready for the big night. And so we'll go through and find the first one. We practiced for the school play every night. And that's fine. What did we do? That's good. First, the director chosed people for certain parts. Well, chosed is our first one. And so we don't say choosed. For the past tense of choose, we say chose. So I'll write C-H-O-S-E on the line. And then you're going to find the last three on your own, circle them, and then write the correct past tense form on the line. When you're finished with this, make sure you turn it into Teams, please.